Hello audience. Welcome to the discussion on the electromagnetic compatibility, EMC, issues in cars with electric drives. From the EMC point of view, the integration of electric drive systems into today's cars represents a substantial challenge. The electric drive system is a new component consisting of a high voltage power source, a frequency converter, an electric motor and shielded or unshielded high power cables. Treating this new electric drive system or its components as a conventional automotive component in terms of EMI test procedures and emission limits would lead to substantial incompatibility problems. EMC Behavior of the Electric Drive An approach is described consisting of an analysis of the main components of an electric drive system being either the noise source or part of the coupling path within the new electrical system of the car. A determination of the coupling paths existing between the new electrical drive components and the conventional electrical system. An adaptation of the EMC requirements of the conventional electrical system to the new electrical drive components using the coupling models. The main components of the new electric drive for automotive applications are the electric motor, the power converter, the power supply and the lines connecting the components. Each of these components acts as a path for electromagnetic emissions. The power converter is known to be the main source of EMI. So the components of the drive system have to be analyzed being either noise source or a part of the coupling path within the car's new electrical system. Power Converters Power electronic systems are known to be the main source of electromagnetic interferences within electric drive systems. The high-speed switching device, for example the insulated gate bipolar transistors IGBT, is the noise source which has to be modeled. Isolated gate drivers are widely used for driving insulated gate bipolar transistors in various applications such as motor drives, solar inverters and automobiles. With higher switching frequency, we will achieve some advantages like a smaller filter size, fast control and lower distortion. However, these advantages come with an increased power loss during transition. Common Mode Transient Immunity CMTI, is an important parameter of a gate driver to consider when operating at higher switching frequencies. Electric Motor Another crucial factor for an accurate EMI analysis is the representation of the electric motor in the EMI frequency range. The way noise currents flow inside the machine does not necessarily have to be determined. In fact, it is more important to know the impedance of the electric motor as a part of the noise path and how this impedance varies as a function of frequency. The high frequency representation of the motor impedance depends on the electric motor principle and not on the drive application. Since the electric motors used in electric vehicles are common AC machines, the high frequency representations developed for other applications than electric drives can be used for EMI predictions in electric vehicles. Traction Battery The battery providing power to the converter is a main part of the path for EMI. Therefore, the battery behavior within the high frequency range needs to be determined. Shielded and Unshielded Cables the cables of the high voltage bus connecting the power converter with the motor in the power supply have to be taken into account to describe the new electric drive system. Due to the ratio between the size of the power converter and the frequency of the EMI, power electronic applications emit the noise mainly through their lines. That's why the cables for the high voltage bus are so important during the design process of an electrically driven vehicle. Usually the connection between converter and motor is kept very short to gain better results in terms of volume and DMC. Restrictions regarding the space available within the car demand cables for the connection to the power supply. From the EMC point of view, there are high voltage lines within the system carrying the supply voltage as high as 900 volts. The main question during the design process is to find out if shielded cables are necessary or not. In general, 
shielding can reduce the mitigations to ensure EMC within the system, but drawbacks are higher costs and reduced flexibility, which causes problems for the assembling. Regarding EMC criteria, the best solution would be a common shielding of both high-voltage bus lines. Such a solution would even aggravate the problem since the cooling conditions deteriorate, and therefore the size of the cable has to increase. In turn, that means higher costs and lower flexibility. The trade-off between shielded cables and EMI mitigations can only be found for specific applications. Coupling Paths the new electric drive system consists of several components which are connected to the new high-voltage bus only. Integrating the new electric drive system into a vehicle, the noise sink to be protected against interference is the conventional electric system and its low-voltage devices such as the radio receiver. Existing requirements such as those for EMC aim to the compatibility within the conventional electrical system. In order to ensure compatibility within the new system, the connections between the conventional system and the new components have to be analyzed. However the high voltage system will be insulated and does not use the car body as return conductor like the low voltage supply system does. As space for wiring harness is limited in modern cars, high voltage and low voltage cables are arranged closely to each other. Hence, one important coupling path is crosstalk between the different lines. Besides crosstalk, the EMI radiated from the high voltage cables into the vehicle is an issue to be addressed. EMI radiated from the high voltage bus has to fulfill the same standards as any other line connecting low voltage components. We Croydon Services Private Limited design and perform the cost-effective modeling simulations on electric drive components, which will help the customer in early stage of automotive designs. You can connect us with your requirement on info at croydonservice.com or visit us on www.croydonservice.com. Thank you for watching.